Yeah, they're running now, actually. What? They're running. percent hell yeah all right guys today we are hiking in the peaceful valley specifically the big plateau loop there's a warning basically it is hotter than shit and it is hotter than what you says it is which i agree with because we are camping in the same valley and it is hot I know I'm wearing the hoodie, but it gets cold here at night. It's been an experience. Chris found some fucking... Why is it here? No, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Definitely Sasquatch. And not the multitude of bison we've seen. Sasquatch. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. My pathological need to record all of my hikes on all trails. I got my phone in my backpack. Will it still count? Yes. No. Okay. 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 We're gonna we're gonna put that back in. Actually, you know what? Because there's climbing involved, we're going to put I always do the it. stuff in the cargo pockets because those zip shut. Downside, our friends the the buffalo, the bison. Uh, walked off. Away. Well, I'm too fat to run away, anyways. So there's that. Get but your, your the buffalo that were here when we got here are wandering down the same trail. So hopefully, <laughs> oh well, fucking Chris. I hope we better see a bison, or I'm gonna be disappointed. Jinxed us, and now they're just stalking us. They heard his wishes, and they want to make them come true. If you can manage to ride one of those, you don't even have to cover your half of the gas. That is the bet. But if you die, I get your toolbox. <laughs> All right, let's go. Update. I have Chris's bag and my bag because my concerns about the heat and dehydration means that my stupid self forgot to grab my food out of the car. So, Chris is running back to the car, and uh, I am hiking to the river to see where we cross. It looks so ouch if you were to fall on it. Climbing up there today. Oh man. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. I passed out last night at like 8.30 and slept at like five, 5 or 6 a.m. I was uh, pretty well exhausted yesterday. But got a good night's sleep. We're trying to plan out our day today because the second half of today we'll be filming day two at camp. Oh, the bison are in the freaking river. Also not seeing a bridge, so we may have to actually do a river crossing here. Shit. All right, it's been confirmed. Got a river crossing. Oh. It definitely has a little current to it. It's got a pole. That's probably the deepest there. It definitely like feels like this current. Yeah, that's probably the deepest. 
Yeah, let's do a little check it out. It's nice and hard, or? Hey, hey, you made it. Oh no, now this is where it's gonna get stupid because you know these trail runners are awful in mud. It's like sand though. Oh. It's not even too muddy actually. You know, I wish this is what we had back in the Manitoba, but. Yeah. All right, we found the bison. He's defending the trail. Probably a pretty good scratching run. All right, Chris, just go over there and smack him in the nose like you do your farm animals. <laughs> Hi. No, we're cool, just keep eating. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, bud. We're from Canada, we couldn't have guns if we wanted to, so. Well, he seems pretty indifferent to us, so. I, so I think if we just kind of. Well, I'm going slow and I'm trying not to look at him. Because then he can't see me as a challenge. And maybe he'll just assume we don't see him. We're okay, bud. You keep eating. I hear the grass is really awesome down by the river. But not in about two and a half hours. Then the grass sucks. <sighs> Thank you, guardian of the trail, for allowing us safe passage. <laughs> This is probably the worst part. Sure. This is probably the worst part. <sighs> Sound like a fucking bison. <laughs> Buffalo can do it at whatever thousands of pounds. I'm sure I can do it at 400. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. You know when you said that, the first thing that came to my mind? Oh, that's a joke I can't even put on the thing. <laughs> Just know Chris made a really funny joke there, but it's not appropriate for uh, my YouTube channel. And we started all the way down in that valley. Let's do it. It's so hard to tell. Guys. What? It's just the tip. <sighs> so cool. Here, the giants are here. Oh no, the Otmar have come. Hello, my friend. Why aren't you hiding in your whitey hole? There you go. Good We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. In this heat, water in the hat is better than an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Let's just see if that is true. Mm. <laughs> Do I ship on all that? Sure. Chris has uh, definitely said it, guys. Here's Chris. If you uh, make it to the top of this mountain, he's giving away free orgasms for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> They're shy. I have never seen a dung beetle before. That's so cool. He's rolling poop. That means the rocks that I thought were poop are probably poop. <laughs> Hello. Mighty fine place you have here. We're not gonna hurt you. You don't need to keep the alarm calling. Ah! Hey, you stay out of this. <sighs> Definitely didn't think we'd get the whole hiking in Manitoba experience. Well, central Manitoba, there are some nice bits. This is more, uh, no, the Crow Wing Trail in uh, southern Manitoba is basically this, or walking on roads. I want to do it because it's 200 kilometers. Yeah, well, that's like a stupid um, trans, uh, trans Canada one. Well, it's part of the Trans Canada Trail. It's like road. But yeah, there's a lot of road walking, which seems kind of lame. Walk on the side of a highway. <laughs> Upside, if we lose sight of each other somehow, we just have to listen for the gophers alarm calling. Uh, James? We have 5G. Do we have 5G up here? We're on top, of course we do. Oh shit. Let's see. I love that we're in a remote national park in a foreign country with better cell service than we get in the city in our home. 5G. 5G. Hmm. The more you know. B-roll. Not gonna lie, the gopher kind of reminds me of when I'm a missionary. <laughs> <laughs> Operation side quest. Oh man. Yes, I'm pretty sure down there is the valley where we walk back. Curtsy? Curtsy, little lady. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so focused on trying to not step in gopher holes and break my ankle, I forget to turn around and see stuff like this. <sighs> Everywhere in this park is like a freaking postcard. And you can see our trail down there where we have to come out. Let's go. We gotta go up there. Let's do it. Uh, nice. We do all the other stuff. <laughs> Big uh, shout out and thank you to all my channel members. Amanda, Patrick, Chris, Pam, Allen. Yes. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you all enjoy my channel membership, there's a link below. Uh, link tree will lead to my Instagram where you can see pictures. You can DM me if you want. Please keep it PG-13. Some of y'all are weird. Uh, TikTok, post a lot of silly stuff on there sometimes. I feel brave and I do the weird dancing trends, not often. Don't go there with that expectation. It's mostly just me being weird. Uh, got a merch store if you want to buy some merch. Gonna be redoing it soon, so we'll see how that turns out. It's just been busy. Uh, like I said in a previous video, there's a bunch of stuff that came up this week that's been really amazing and I kind of hope it comes to fruition, but uh, all right, let's keep going.
Guys, look at this. It's definitely still a lot of smoke from the forest fires, but. And we found a big bison herd over there. Thankfully, not on the trail we're going down because we got to go that way now. And it's all downhill from here. <clears throat> Chris is looking for cool rocks. With disappointment. That's a big herd. Like I said, I see a couple. I think I see, yeah, there's some little ones. Those assault cows will definitely kill us if we go near those little ones. I'm going to film so that way if Chris gets mauled, we have video evidence. Uh, Chris, make it quick. Yeah, the whole fucking herd's coming this way. Oh man, that big guy to the left was just staring you down. Yeah, no, that, that whole fucking herd's coming this way now. We gotta go. Time? Yeah. Everybody else was like facing the other way. Go check, go check, go check. Yeah, but now it looks like the herd's moving this way. So. Wow. If Big Papa's coming to investigate, I think they follow him, right? Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> I never thought that in the absence of large predatory animals like bears we have at home, I never thought I'd be more nervous about wildlife hiking. But the, uh, the tactical assault cows definitely add an element of like, yeah, no, let's go. <laughs> and if I challenge them, they'll just fight like a bun, like a black bear. It's so cool. They're coming. It would be this close, yeah. And yeah, they have babies. Yeah, they have babies. Yeah. They got babies. They got a reason to fight to the death. Well, with any luck, they're going to that other plane that we've already been on. So let's uh, let's get away from them. Yeah, the, uh, you see the whole herd better from here. Oh, way better. Time for a selfie. They are such beautiful animals. Yeah, of course, a couple more minutes. You would have been part of the herd. Well, dead most likely, but still. They are the ones in control out here. Yeah, no, the, uh, the leader's definitely staring us down now. All right, uh, have a great day. I hear the grass is really lovely over on that plane over there. We are going that way. Go. <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't like that they're picking the pace up. Shit. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, they're running actually. What? They're running. Fuck, they're coming this way. 